Hello, Star Munchers. Max here, back playing Monument Valley. Um, in the last episode, we were able to get through some levels that were quite gorgeous, as always. I wanted to keep going with this. Let's see. Chapter 9, The Descent, in which there is nobody left to forgive us. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Banger start. Okay. Um, I guess we're going up. Ooh. I don't know what that did. This is a crazy place to start an episode. Um, oh, wait a minute. Can we actually go down? Oh. Does the water retreat as we go? Oh, there's like a ladder thing over here. Hold on. I want to check this first. Does it matter which way we go? I'm guessing it does. There's a little wind-up thingamajig. Okay, it looks like if we go this way, we can get up to that button. Oh. We can't... We can't go on that button? Oh, right. Gives us a ladder. Okay, cool. All right, what does this do? Oh, our friend! Totes my goats! This is a really cool level design. Okay. Okay, so how do we get down there? Okay, wait. Let's go here. And then we can go down here. Oh, this is cool. Okay, the weather changed. Hold on. Oh, this is really pretty. This got really pretty. I mean, this game is always gorgeous, but like, dang. Oh, right. I forgot the mechanic of this guy. Thank you, friend. Well, that's nice. Nice little reunion. Ooh. This looks like inverted Cubert. Whoa. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wow. Okay, so these are all the people. They look really sad. Interesting. Okay. If we do this, we should be able to walk this way. That is very interesting. I feel like I'm remembering more and more of the story as I go. Alright, let's see what this does. Okay. What about you? Okay, we can walk this way. Let's go down. Lower you. Now we can get into the windy stuff. There we go. Let's walk back down the way we came, just so that way I don't get myself stuck. There we go. Oh, here we go. Okay, and then down to the... Okay, down the ladder. Okay. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Ooh. Beautiful color transition. Holy smokes. The colors in this game are just so gorgeous. Like, I would get a t-shirt of just this. So pretty. All right, let's step on the button, the obvious one. Ooh. 
Whoa, okay, so my brain didn't even register what shape that was. <laughs> I couldn't tell that that was a downward facing staircase, like going the opposite direction. Okay. See, this level doesn't seem so hard. This one seems more, more balanced. That one level in the other episode with Totes Magotes took me forever, and it took me a real long time. Oh, hold on. Let's go here. Oh, weird. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. Nope. There we go. There we go. Nice and lined up. As puzzle games go, this game is just really, really well made. It's really pretty, the sound's great. Okay, you can fly. <gasps> what? That was super trippy. Oh, there's our ghost friend again. This is one of those games where the simpler the... I guess the lore, or like the explanation of the universe, the more fascinated I am by it. It's, it's like some of the charm about the first Portal game is just how much is unstated actually makes you more curious in the story. Long ages lie heavy on old bones in these buried halls. Sacred geometry was our pride, our downfall. But forever will our monuments stand in this valley. So why was it their downfall? Maybe they like fought over them or waged war about them? It's possible. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> oh, no. That's a bit of a drop-off. Oh, okay, I see what's going on. Little stippy steps. Very nice, very nice. I wish more people would play this game. I hope, I hope more people go and buy the, the panoramic edition that's on Steam that has both games. It's really phenomenal. Ooh, <gasps> is that a sarcophagus? Holy smokes! Oh! Wow, that's disconcerting. Oh. So, we're not returning a relic we're laying flowers at someone's grave and that's how we end the episode or sorry the level not we're not ending the episode like that that's crazy so i'm wondering that's so strange i don't remember that at all so it's almost like i don't know maybe that was the ghost guy's grave that could be where, um, uh, chapter 10, Observatory, in which, at journey's end, what was not meant for us is all returned. Okay, so that's continuing on the theme of us returning things. I'm wondering if that grave was the ghost guy we've been talking to. Like, we needed to lay his soul at rest as, like, some extra, uh, penitence for our thieving. Okay. So I'm just trying to figure out what all this does. So it just rotates this way, and you rotate this way.
Interesting. Okay, what am I trying to get to? Here, let's walk up here. Rotate you. That would take me to the crow, which I don't want. Okay, I can walk to here. Okay, the gray thing spins. Okay, hold on. If the gray thing spins, then we step here, rotate you this way, and then we could step here, step here. How would one... Okay, so hold on. I'm going backwards. I need to get up there. Why is that shape important? There's a shape that doesn't fit any other direction. I'm trying to figure out why it looks the way it does. Okay. Let me think this through. If I need to get to here... I need to be on the outside. I need to be on the outside. Okay, let's walk here. Walk to here, and then I can rotate this again, like so. And then I can go in here. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. All right, we've gone full-blown Escher now and see Escher in the house. Okay. Holy smokes. Okay, well, let's... <sighs> oh, boy. My brain is getting melty. Um... do I get where I need to go? Okay. Well, can I get on the moving piece? That's probably what I need to do. Okay, I can do that. But that wasn't the way I came in, right? Was it? Okay, there we go. So now I'm on the correct plane. Okay, there we go. So now I can come through here. There we go. What does this do? I love all the suspended stuff in the air. It's super cool. Okay, through. Okay, so that door's closed. I see. So I need to figure out how to get to each one of these bad boys. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go here. Then rotate you to the inside so I can get you. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, you don't. You're not angled that way. Okay, but you are. So if I go here, back to here. 
and then rotate you. You're a ramp surface, so then I rotate you to the inside. Okay, because I need to get to here, and I can walk around the inside like that. Okay. It's taken me a minute, but I'm getting there. And back this way. So it's a little bit like the music box where you have to go into each section and like do a little mini puzzle for each zone. Ooh, this one's pretty. Could also be pretty difficult. Whoa now. Okay, let's step here, just see what it does. Let's go backwards. Oh, oh, oh. There's a doorway here, which takes us to here. So even though I can't see it, can I walk through? So if I walk here, rotate this bad boy like this, then spin him back around, I can see you. Got a crow, I'm gonna spin you away from me if I can. There we go. Boom. That one was way easier than I thought it would be. Okay, now I gotta actually go back through, huh? Oh, wait a minute. this one over here to get me to the far side there we go and through all right one more to go one more to go we got this i'm loving this okay so what's the main problem with this one how do i get on the same plane as this one i need to be on the okay wait a minute i think it's as simple as Getting on the inside, walking around to here. And then rotating you to get me up here. No, this is correct. If I do this, step there, and rotate you back this way so I can see what I'm doing. And then rotate you this way, boom. That wasn't so bad. I just needed to like utilize the ramps on the inside a little bit more. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, all these are so pretty. This one looks like a, this, this one really does look like Legos. What, what? I can spin the whole thing. Okay, can we like walk down a whole area to see what happens? Oh, ladder? Do we just keep spinning this? Oh, okay, so that's a dead end. Okay, but if I'm on the inside like this... Right. Okay, and then I see. Then we spin this. There we go. <clears throat> as far as how we get out of here. Okay, that might have been my answer. Ah, and back out. Nice. Very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so where's the last doorway? Oh. Okay, so I gotta get back out of here. Okay, I can go here. And then spin you. Okay. 
How do I get on the same level as you? How in the world do I do that? Is there something tricksy with... Okay. I knew that that side thing was going to come into play somehow. I was like, it has to at some point. Okay. So, how in the world do I access that? The blue guy? Okay, let's try the blue. If I can get back to the blue, which I should be able to. Hold on. If I do this, I'm going to spin you back around so I can kind of see what I'm doing again. At least partially. Right, like that. And then spin you like this. Now I can get there. Alrighty. Wow. This game is smarter than I am. Which, to be fair, is a pretty low bar to trip over. But it's there. So, good for you, game. I always forget how many levels there are. I look it up almost every time I go to record. Just so that way I don't get carried away. Wait a minute. Okay. Interesting. So we like cursed ourselves and a bunch of people to not be able to fly anymore since we stole the stuff. Is that kind of it? I don't know if that's the actual story. Phenomenal game. I didn't know that that was going to be the last level. Now, I thought there were some extra levels, and I could be wrong about that, but I want to check that. But even if this is the end of the first game, nice little three-part series, I would be fine with that, just because of how phenomenal this game is. And everyone who worked on it did an amazing job. And, like, as far as just a complete experience, it's just, oh, we're in there with totes my goats, let's go! That's great. What an interesting ending. All right, I want to check out, see what's here. Uh, Monument Valley, Forgotten Shores, eight more magical chapters. So there are eight more. So, a standalone adventure. Okay, so there's way more. I just dream a standalone adventure. Like, as in, like, one level? I don't know. I want to explore more of what this first game has to offer. So I'm going to do another part and we'll do Forgotten Shores. Maybe we can do like two episodes of Forgotten Shores or something like that. Um, yeah, I'm glad that there's more to this game. But yeah, we finished the main thrust of the story. We returned all the artifacts. We paid our respects and hopefully set that one ghost free. Super interesting game. And like I said, I think the simplicity of the story is a service to the game because it doesn't get too caught up in the story and it doesn't take itself so seriously where you need to understand a bunch of things. I think between like the mirror sequence with the bird flying and the crown, we're a princess, but evidently we're like a, a race of bird creatures uh, who stole, we stole the artifact and like cursed all the other bird people until we returned everything is really interesting to me. And 
yeah, what a phenomenal game. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.